Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Till date, HAL has completed the production of 320 advanced light helicopter ALH, which is huge achievement in itself. Dhruv has also completed more than 2 lakhs 80,000 flying hours which adds another feather to its hat. The advanced light helicopter is turning out to be a shining example of make in India and that's why our today's discussion is going to be Dhruvified. Besides the indigenous orders, we will also talk about the few export orders that are under very advanced stages of negotiation for these helicopters. So let's get started. Talking about the domestic order of Dhruv, Indian Navy has signed a contract with HL to deliver 16 advanced light helicopter LH Mark III, out of which six of them have been already inducted. The Indian Coast Guard has also concluded a contract for procurement of 16 advanced light helicopter LH MK3. Out of 16 LH ordered, six have already been inducted into the ICG. The remaining 10 helicopters are likely to be inducted by May 2022. On 29th September 2021, the DAC has accorded the approval for procurement of 25 LH MK3 helicopters for Indian Army from HL under Buy India at an approximate cost of Rs 3850 crores. Talking about the export orders, HL has received interest from Philippines Coast Guard for procurement of 7 ALH and 8 DO 228 aircraft through Government of India line of credit. Philippines at present is evaluating the maritime version of LH through developed for Indian Navy and Coast Guard. The contract is expected to worth Rs 3000 crore and if successful, it will be India's largest ever export order for defense equipment. If the LH through and DO 228 performs well and deliver high serviceability, HL might get the follow-on orders. Through also faces competition with Airbus Panther AS565 in this deed. Both of them are priced almost same, but HL is providing better support and spare package. The Dhruv MK1 costs around 45 to 50 crores, whereas MK3 costs 70 crore. The MK3 version features glass cockpit and anti vibration dampers. The maritime version of Dhruv has further enhancement, specific to naval requirement, which adds to extra weight and cost. The maritime version of Dhruv costs around rupees 110 crore. It includes an onboard weather radar, an electro optical pod, a searchlight, a tracker beam, emergency flotation gear, a VHF homing device, a traffic collision avoidance device, a rescue hoist that is anchored just below the main rotors, and a slithering device for marine commandos. Apart from Philippines, Morrisons is also looking for HAL's aircraft. As per the recent update from HAL, it has progressed discussions with Morrisons side for supply of one ALH Mark III and one passenger variant of DO 228 aircraft under line of credit provided by Government of India. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.